If you've been using RSPA1 for long, you may have already discovered this use of the mouse using the wheel part. But uh, it's also useful on a 7610, but the RSPA1 has a lot more features. Take a look. Okay, this is Jeff. It's uh, December 29th. Just going to show off a couple of the controls here. Hello, 9 November Whiskey. And notice here we've got some quiet going on between these transmissions. Let me turn this down. All I've done here is uh, muck around with this squelch control. If you look here, you, I'm going to rotate the uh, mouse. And if you notice up here, this is the uh, threshold at which we get uh, the signals to come through. If it's higher than that threshold, or lower. Now another thing I'm doing here is I'm using the wheel on the mouse. If I put my cursor in the middle of like the volume control, and I pull back on the wheel, the volume goes up. If I push forward on the wheel, it goes down. And that's the same thing here. If I can put it on the outside, I can modify the uh, point at which this squelch takes effect. Now you've also got, you put your cursor here, you push up, and you can lower it and raise it, which is really helpful. If you want to uh, play games with the speech compression, you just bring it up right click here and you can uh, use the roll the wheel on the mouse to modify that you can also go over here now one of the things that's a little slow here is I'm only doing 10 Hertz at a time if I click on this and move it over to a hundred Hertz at a time it's a little faster and you can move that over some more and do 1K at 1KC at a time, but that's kind of a overkill. On the filtering, but if you right click on the filter, you can also adjust the bandwidth to your liking. This is pretty wide. It can get narrow enough where you can't really hear anything. And then there's another thing that's interesting. If you notice over here, if you want to change how you sound on transmit, this is, uh, it says here that the transmit bandwidth is mid-level. Mid if I click on this, that says narrow. It immediately changes this to 500 to 2500. So these are things you can preset, and then by clicking over here, you'll notice whether or not you're going to go wide, mid, or narrow. If we go into CW mode, gets kind of interesting. When you go to the CW keyer, you probably notice there's a tone there. That tone needs to match. Let's turn that squelch down. Do you notice here? You hear that pitch right there. If that's kind of like where you like hearing your CW, you can zero beat the other station when he transmits you'll see a little spike happen right here see that little spike I'm exactly on his frequency right here at 7026 if I know that I have a schedule on uh, sideband let's say and I want to meet somebody at uh, 14 250. Instead of clicking over here and going through all that stuff, I just put my cursor somewhere in here and I and this is in megahertz now. 14 that's 14 million 250,000 000. When I hit enter, I just went to 14250 without having to do any fooling around over here with uh, dials or anything. And then I decide no I want to do 14325 which is one of the uh, maritime mobile nets. 14 Three two five zero zero zero, and bingo, there I sit. W6FCC, clear. You can plug a mouse into your IC7610. It works okay, but if you do it through RSPA1, you have more features. Give these a try, and I think you'll enjoy doing this. I have an RC28 also, but this works really well.